Today we're going to talk about survey questions. So in the past little while that you've been doing your math, the data that you need has been sitting right there on your page ready for you to use. But in real life, the data is not always just sitting there on your page ready to go. You have to go out and get the data yourself. So today we're going to talk about how we do that. And the way you do that is by creating a survey. Now a survey is just a series of questions that you ask someone to collect data, to collect information. In your survey, it's really important that you ask good questions. Um, an example of sort of a boring question would be, do you like pizza? Yes or no? I mean, great, now you know how many people like pizza, but that's not really the most interesting question. Yes or no questions are eh, not the best survey questions. Uh, there's also survey questions that could give you way too many complicated answers. If I ask you, why do you like to go to school instead of stay home? You probably would all come up with a completely different answer and some of you would even say, no, I like staying at home, it's better. I would have too many possible answers and trying to put that on a graph would be really tricky. A good survey question has maybe five answers around that. It can have a little less, it can have a little more. But remember, every possible answer that you give, you're gonna have to make a label for on your graph. So you don't wanna have to write a ton of labels. So how about our question is, what is your favorite kind of fruit? All right, that's a great question. Let's give our people who are answering the survey some options, okay? Um, Apple, maybe you like apple best. You can check this box if you like apple best. Orange, banana, grape. But what if they don't like those ones? What if they're like, my favorite is strawberry. I don't see strawberry here. What should you do? You need to plan ahead for the people who like the strawberry, but don't like the other options you've given. So you could put strawberry as an option, but you can't put every single fruit down. There's way too many fruits. What can you do instead of writing down every single fruit? Well, you can have an option that says other. And other is a really magical, amazing option when you're doing a survey. Because it says, if your favorite fruit isn't one of the ones I thought of, but it's something different, it's an other fruit, then you can check that box. So in so many surveys, other is an option because they wanna leave room for you to say, well, I wanna answer the question, but none of the options you gave me makes any sense, okay? So when we're writing a good survey question, you need to think, what do you think the answers are gonna be that people give? And then leave room for answers you might never have thought of. We're gonna look in our book today, but before we do that, I just wanna remind you, tomorrow we are gonna be conducting a survey together. Um, if we were in class, it would be so easy for us to just ask each other questions, but we're not in class, so we can't do that. But during our Zoom call tomorrow, please try to be there and we're gonna do some tallying. We're gonna have our math books in front of us and we are gonna ask a question and collect data together. All right, now let's open up our books and see what we're working on today. You're on page 201 today while I straighten out my camera. You're gonna start doing number one. Uh, Megan asked her classmates to circle their favorite season. She gave them these choices, spring, summer, winter. Are there enough choices? Explain, what should she add? So you're critiquing people's questions today. And these are some of the options she gave in her survey, uh, but they're not the best options. She could make this more complete. Number two, Alex asked his classmates to circle the number of siblings, brothers or sisters they have. These are the answers that he offered. Well, Anne has four siblings and Carl has six. Can they answer the survey? And what could Alex add? What one option could he add so they can both answer the survey? Then you're gonna turn the page. Um, remember, the gray, bleh, the gray boxes give you information about how to do the work. So if you're struggling today, take a look at this gray box. All right, now it's your turn. Write a survey question to figure out what pizza toppings students like best. So here's the question. And then in B, you're gonna write the possible answers to that 
question. Okay, so, and they already have other here for you. That's all you need to do today. Write good questions. I will see you tomorrow.